going on guys? In this video, I wanna give you my mindset and how I'm uh, implementing this waterfall approach to some of the, the projects that I'm in and, in and also kind of prioritizing them and um, just kind of how I'm, I'm setting that up. And it, and it starts with Wick Hunter. So today, for me, I had 2% return on my investment. I mean, this is doing over 1% a day consistently and it's one that I've been doing really well with. And what I really like about it is that it produces dividends. So it's, it's always producing dividends in USDT. I can then use that and it gives me more of a stable idea of my profits. I can uh, better kind of conceptualize some of the things I wanna do. And so I've set up a kind of like a three bucket approach where a third of it I'm reinvesting, a third of it now I'm, I'm going into the waterfall, which is my next project that I really want to build out, which is BitsCap. And so that is one where you're building in projects that you really believe in. You're not necessarily that concerned with price. And the way BitsCap works is it's going to be producing dividends in those tokens inside of your own exchange account. Now, when you start doing a lot of these, uh, the, you know, the best way is to set up multiple accounts and you wanna have a little bit of a process and method for that. And so what I've done is my preference is Brave Browser and you can set up multiple profiles and you can set these in, in different uh, ways to basically organize because you, you're gonna have uh, multiple Binance accounts and multiple emails if you want to set up multiple Wick Hunter accounts, which is what I recommend. Right now I'm running six accounts. I'm probably going to take it to 10 accounts. And so, so for today, like I withdrew from my profits just right off the top of all of those accounts and I consolidated them into one account so I know what I've been earning for the day. And so that process takes me about 15 minutes. Uh, it's about, you know, another five minutes to kind of shuffle around kind of some of the ideas and things I'm doing then I'm done for the day and then I can focus on some of the next projects and researching uh, things that are going on in crypto and taking a little bit more of a proactive approach uh, approach in, uh, in kind of looking at those up and coming projects and what to invest in and um, you know you you can get a little bit of a feel for the market in um, in trading I'm, I'm probably not going to be doing as much of that I mean I was doing a little bit more of that before. Um, I think that there's more of a opportunistic approach to trading and, and also just, you know, setting, you know, low leverage longs on uh, projects you believe in. So I think I'm gonna probably be doing more of that approach because I got burned shorting and that was, um, you know, uh, uh, one where it can be really profitable if, if, if you're doing that right, you know, but it, it's, it's something where uh, if you're using high leverage, then, then your positions can, can um, um, kind of work against you uh, pretty quickly if you're in a, in a losing trade. So the Wick Hunter bot has just been a much more consistent and, and profitable approach to trading. And I think that I've ironed that out to a point where it's, it's, um, uh, it's not really putting in trades that I see that are eating up a, a majority of my balance because that's essentially how you, know, you get uh, liquidated in in Wick Hunter is if you have one token or one pair that goes kind of haywire and essentially you know will will take over your account. So what one of the things that I've been looking at is is kind of like a, a step a, a, a step um, uh, system to the risk that I have in each of those accounts. And so the one that I'm going to have more capital in, I'm going to have less risk. I'm going to be banning a lot of the pairs that are recommended by the, uh, the, the group to, to ban. So I'll, I'll leave a link in the description below for um, you know, the, the list. Um, but you, know, you can make these very you know, focused on you know, uh, you know, big market cap coins and, um, and there's, there's different ways of, of optimizing these. And so I've um, you know, kind of been you know, really kind of tinkering with some of those so I can, I can get a feel. But I think the biggest thing that I've really done is just really step down my leverage. And that is giving me more confidence that this will sustain a lot of the, the um, you know, the wild swings that you see in the market. And then it's just gonna pick up, you know, all of those, those liquidation orders. And uh, that's a, a great time to buy in to a particular coin uh, when it's, when, you know, when some of those liquidation orders are hitting. And with the, the setup that I have um, and, and how I've kind of layered in 
the, the DCA, because essentially that's what it is, it's a DCA bot, a uh, dollar cost averaging bot, and there's many of them available. So there may be one that I use in, in the future that, that has uh, um, maybe a better system or setup. I just, this, this one is the one I've been working with right now, and it's the one that's been working for me. So I'm gonna continue to kind of uh, learn about it and, and, and tweak with it. And um, you know, there's a lot of other options that you can get into with, with some of these others. Uh, projects like you know the Wick Hunter team they also have their bots game project where they can do some of the trading you know for you and so that's that's one where you're you know you're you're um, entrusting those guys but they've built up a real solid reputation for uh, you know what, what they're doing so I, I, I like what they're doing and um, that's why it's, it's really been kind of the one I've been most focused on because it's 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 giving me a lot of confidence that this will be sustainable you know at that you know one two percent per day um you know based on volatility in the market and so that's something that i think can be um can, can be a great uh driver and one that fuels a lot of the other projects that you want to invest in i mean i i really want to get into a lot of different projects i mean everyone's really you know, gung ho on uh, hex and, and pulse chain, and I think that that's that's you know an amazing project to get into, and one that'll have a lot of upside potential. There's um, you know uh, a lot of other up and coming blockchains that I think will also be ones that have a lot of um, uh, potential, and those are projects that I want to invest in. But if you don't have you know something that's that's earning you passive income that you can use to then invest in some of those, even at a smaller level. Um, you know, that's, that's kind of the thing that, that you're missing. And so that's why I've been so focused on, on, on some of these trading bot projects and using those as a means to build your, um, you know, your passive income so that you can get to a point where you can invest and, and play around and maybe throw a few hundred dollars here and, and, and try a little bit of trading, but, you know, managing your risk and, the, and that, that sort of thing. So. That's just kind of been my mindset. Um, you know, I'm gonna try to do, uh, you know, some more, um, you know, technical walkthrough videos once I get a little bit more set up here and I can, um, you know, I can, I can go a little bit more in depth in some of these, these technical areas because this can be, you know, perhaps a bit intimidating for people that are, that are new to, to this kind of thing and, and uh, it's easy to mess up and, and um, you know things to go wrong. So there's a very, a very big amount of attention to detail when you get into uh, some of these. Um, and I think that uh, there's a lot of other um, really awesome things that are going on in crypto. There's just it's just a, um, it, it's going to become um, you know very interesting over the next several years because there seems to be a ramp up in adoption. And uh, I think that you know you, you look at like you know, some of the price predictions, I think most of the, the guys that are out there that, you know, have a lot of respect, they're, they're all bearish. They all think that this is, uh, you know, this is eventually going to come down, um, you know, and we were starting to see a lot of those signs with Bitcoin at, at, at 30K. But then once, you know, we really started to uh, see a little bit of recovery now we're at 40K, it's, I think things are, um, you know, shaping up. It's, it's, it's hard to say that, you know, we might see a, you know, significant drop in, in, in the, you um, you know, in the near future, um, or, you know, we could see a massive bull run. But I think one of the things that you can protect yourself from some of those, you know, price speculation things is by having some, some reliable things that you're invested in that are kind of allowing you to, to play in, in these more speculative markets when it gets into the actual cryptocurrency pairs. So, um, so yeah, there's, um, some uh, more in-depth videos that I want to also do on the projects that I'm going to be um, investing more in. But uh, I've been really interested in, you know, in Luna uh, lately. I've been kind of looking at that, and uh, it's it's interesting what they're doing with the stable coins. It's kind of like uh, a a really interesting solution to some of the, the decentralization um, op, uh, optimism, optimistic uh, viewpoints of how you know you. Uh, you want to have your your blockchain set up um, in, in the most I guess efficient way possible uh, if that makes sense but I think that there's like a lot of interesting aspects to crypto that I, I need to dive into and and explore and and it's it's gonna be one where um, you know I'm, I'm gonna be doing doing my best to kind of give you like my perspective 
and uh, being able to put out you know content on a regular basis to to kind of give give um, you know my my thoughts on, on some of these these trending topics because if you stay in the, in the trending topics in crypto you can do really well so anyways appreciate you guys and i'll uh be sure to uh be doing a video here on a pretty regular basis um at least that's my hope so um, catch you guys in the next video